Oceanus is considered an intermediate class vessel. We not only work coastal scientific research, but uh, we have the capabilities of crossing the pond, so to speak. And uh, Oceanus has uh, worked in areas as far north as just shy of the uh, Arctic Circle, far reaches to the east, uh, working in the Red Sea, South Atlantic, working off the coast of Brazil, most recently working in the Gulf of Mexico. So it's a very versatile ship, but very capable of uh, conducting a variety of operations. Hard to believe that uh, we're already on station 16, the very last one. It's bittersweet. I'm gonna be happy to go home and see my family, but I'm also gonna miss uh, being out here on the ocean doing science with my Oceanus family. It's another day at the office, Dan. When the scientists on board Oceanus make a discovery, uh, they accomplish their task for this time around, makes our crew and myself very, very happy. I couldn't be happier with the outcome of the cruise. When we set sail three weeks ago, uh, we had a very ambitious plan with uh, multi-dimensions to it in terms of the uh, observations, several different groups working together, trying to put together fairly disparate kinds of data, and I was absolutely thrilled with the way it worked out. Uh, by my count, we have covered more than 3,700 nautical miles of track line, 46 CTD stations, 23 mock tows. We've been through seven cyclones, five anti-cyclones, I think it's the, uh, the servo. We're changing out the servo and the rudder because it's going to 15 degrees for some reason. And we're just doing a little uh, preemptive maintenance on it. Oh, we're getting an amazing amount of data from the VPR. It's been working really great. So, I mean, it was a total team effort. It's uh, giving us everything we'd hoped for. Showing us where the trichodesmian patches are. We're stopping where the patches are. Giving everything to everybody that they want. The major questions that we set out to address, the two key questions were, was trichodesmium abundant down deep uh, in the high abundance region in the southern part of the Sargasso Sea in the eastern Caribbean? The first order answer is yes. Those vertical distributions were similar to what was observed on the transatlantic survey. The second question is, are those deep populations active? And although we don't have the final numbers yet, we have the initial e estimates of nitrogen fixation on a per colony basis, and those colonies were no doubt active. They were actively fixing nitrogen. Yeah. That's an important result. Did you get that one, Dan? <laughs> no, sorry, I missed it out. Let Sonia explain it. Yes, we did, yeah. Uh, big yield from the surface, and actually pretty good yield from the subsurface population as well, so that was really exciting. So what we did this time is we have a deck board incubator up on the O1 deck that better simulates the surface light environment. And what we found is that the light levels that we've been using appear to be saturating. That means they fix just as much nitrogen in our incubators inside the lab as they do on the deck board. So after about 600, doesn't matter how much light you give them, they seem to fix the same amount of nitrogen. So that's an important result that'll allow us to better intercompare our results from the last cruise in this one. I just can feel the hairs on the back of my neck starting to stand up with the excitement about bringing all those data sets together to synthesize a picture of what trichodesimum is doing in the North Atlantic. That's a fun problem to work on. We got some nice uh, steamed cabbage and over here is my lobster decadence. Lobster stuffed pasta with a lobster bisque sauce reduction with just a touch of cream sherry and of course lobster. 
One of the biggest morale factors on board is the uh, galley. And what I mean by that is uh, the food preparation has been phenomenal over the last uh, several weeks. We we're very fortunate to have uh, the galley staff that we have at the present time. So one of the real big secrets, maybe not so much a big secret, is uh, excellent food. To share a birthday with what a wonderful group of people out here doing what we love to do and uh, tons of trichodesmium too, which makes it all great. Thanks for taking care of us. Things like this create a sense of uh, camaraderie amongst everyone. 29 people on a 177 foot ship and every single meal of every single day you greet everybody with a smile. I'll tell you one thing, we all work hard on this ship, but nobody on this ship works harder than the cook and the messman. So thank you both for your efforts. It's absolutely you, tremendous. It's a pleasure. It's our, it's our pleasure to serve you. I want everybody to feel like they are at home, even you. Great birthday on RV Oceanus. Wow. Great cake, man. Very good. Happy birthday, Dennis. It's a fish cake. <laughs> There's no cake better than birthday cake. My hat's off to Captain Mello and his crew for facilitating this scientific mission. In fact, that partnership between science and ship operations, I think, is an incredibly important one. Uh, from the moment that we step on the ship with Captain Mello and his team, the attitude is can do. Another day of uh, exciting operations with uh, Dennis McGillicuddy. <laughs> Most folks want to be here. They want to support science, they want to support the scientists, and they truly believe in the product. If there is a discovery made here that helps men understand the world better, then uh, it's, it's fun to be a small part of that. They're dedicated to the mission. They have a sense of ownership in the mission. They want to know what we're doing and how we're doing it, and there's a real interest in the, in the scientific part. It's kind of hard to put into words for me. It's just uh, really a, a, a great experience, and I really miss it when I don't do it, so uh, I keep coming back. You know, the old saying, I love it when a plan comes together, but we've got this, it's kind of like a symphony, I was telling the cook. We've got the bridge, officers doing their thing, we've got the deck crew, we've got the galley, the cook, and the messman, and the engineers down below running the ship, and then we've got this team of scientists that are each doing their very important part to piece together the whole picture. We're going to have trichodesmium nailed down by the end of this cruise. But, I mean, ultimately we want to understand how the physics and the biology and chemistry interacts to control the distributional patterns that we see in the trichodesmium and also the nitrogen fixation rates that these colonies and trichomes are doing in the water column. So, yeah, we want specific answers and we're going to have those within the next year. In fact, the vast majority of what we're going to do is going to happen back in the laboratory. So we collect all these samples and really that's just the very first part of the work. Final samples. Yep, right up until the end. Yes, good morning, sir. Just like to confirm an 80900 pilot pickup. Over. Now, having the field effort over, the table is set for an enormous feast on the data which have been collected. That's the next phase in the project, and that's going to be a heck of a lot of fun.